Hi guys, uh, sorry, uh, recording this on my iPhone 5 so the quality is not going to be the best um, and it's going to be a bit shaky <clears throat> but uh, other than that uh, I'm going to bring you a video here of my Asus S56CA 15 inch uh, Ultrabook it is an um, i5 processor, it's the mid-range one between the i3, the i5 and the i7 um, performs well, comes factory standard with 4 gigabytes of RAM. So what I'm going to do today is show you how to upgrade 4 gigs, uh, upgrade your RAM. Um, I'm going from 4 to 8 with this uh, laptop. Um, there is one video, one instructional, instructional video of uh, this laptop uh, on YouTube which I found, well there's two, but one which actually goes through all the features properly. Um, and But there isn't any which shows you actually how to upgrade RAM on this laptop. So I'm going to show you how to do that now. Um, first of all, you want to make sure your computer is completely powered down. Um, then what you want to do is you want to turn it over so the battery is at the back. So it's upside down like this. What you want to do is you want to uh, unlock your battery and remove your battery from, from the computer or the notebook. There you go, so my battery is removed. Uh, what you're going to have to do is on the back here, let me just move the light. There's going to be there's two screw holes. I've already taken them out for convenience. There's one there on the right. And there's one all the way over here on the left. As you can see there, so there's one here. Let me just focus. Hold on. So let me just get the light a bit even. There's one here, and then there's one up here. So when you, what you want to do is remove them completely. Right now, this portion will just slide towards you, click towards you a little bit, and then you can simply release this. So what this does, this bit is, it shows you a couple of things. You have, you have access to your hard drive or uh, your, H, your uh, solid disk drive if you have that option. Uh, I'm not entirely sure, but that's your current 4 gigs of RAM installed. It's SD, uh, S, was it SD RAM I think it's called? Yeah, anyway. Um, so it's 4 gigabytes there, as you can say. But the thing is with this, they make the plastic so you can't actually remove this 4 gigs. So you're stuck with that 4 gigawatts unless you want to undo the, all the 18 screws, I think it's on the back, including the void warranty screw underneath the Windows 8 sticker. Um, so you will void your warranty if you want to upgrade that 4 gigs of RAM or do anything else. Um, I was considering upgrading the MSATA drive because this comes with an um, yeah, MSATA SSD. Sorry, it's got a, I think it's got like a, a 30 gigabyte uh, SSD built in. I think it's for boot only. Um, and then as well as this, but I was thinking of upgrading it, realizing that it would void the warranty, so I decided not to. Um, so here is the extra bay, the the free bay, shall I say, to um, put the other four gigs of RAM. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my RAM, which I have here. I bought some uh, Integral, I think it's 30, 3300 megahertz, megahertz RAM. Uh, make sure it's got the DDR3, it's got that little pin there. So simply all you do with installing RAM, well, this sort of RAM, is pretty much the same principle as, um, say, a, 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 a desktop PC, except from you have to do this one at a slight angle. So so it was it was slot in to make sure you got the pins lined up, so the pin with the RAM and the pin with the actual uh, socket. So you just literally slide in and it will stick in. So, all right, so there, so that's in and it will flex a little bit. All you have to do is push down until you hear the two clips either side. Sorry about that. The two metal clips either side just clip. If you listen, there we go. And then that's it, fully installed. No software needs to be updated, nothing. Um, that's everything you really need to do. So, what you want to do now is put the back compartment back on, put your battery back in, boot up, go into PC Info, uh, this is Windows 8, or Control Panel System, check that your 8GB of RAM has installed and then you're all done. Um, I have already been using this RAM, I've used it for about mm, two months now and um, it, I'm gonna say this now, it's gonna take about 10 to 20 boot ups, so shut down boot ups for you to actually see an improvement um, it, I think it just needs to get used to being in the system, get it running, get some some actual usage until it starts performing to its best, uh, to its best of its ability so yeah, that was another video for you on my uh, Ultrabook. I hope you liked it. If you just want to like and comment and subscribe if you want. <laughs> anyway, see you later.